My people, you don't say to hey, nothing where we no go see for Aso Rock, my people. It don't happen no. As they talk to us, so my people, Yoruba people don't come outside. Yoruba people, they let us understand. Say the election where we say the contest on Nigeria for this 2023 election, now the best election. He say all the people where carry Tinubu go court, they they waste their time. He say because they no say the judge self no go one year them because the judge no say this election are the best election. My people not be smart, you know. Now, then they talk to so that petition where the where that petition where people sign against Tinubu for court. He said, now wasting of time. Why are they signing petition? He said, this petition, they go only run, go court from left and right. At the end of the day, they're not going to see if see Tinubu come out for that position. Now, a lot of people they thought say, if matter they for court, what you give the Tinubu people hundred percent say. Tinubu go win for court. How Tinubu take no say he go win for court? At least make them let the judge make decision for this election. What we say they do for this 2023 election. Whether they go, they, they, whether they go leave Tinubu for there, I be they go redo the ele election. I be they go announce another person make it take over. Why be say that the same message so that the judge go the fear? Even if the the election. Now, hundred percent say they okay. At least make the leg judge look into the matter. Make the judge come make decision. My people, it don't happen. As I they talk to now, so my people, because it be like say the water, water. When we say the Tinubu people, they receive, you know, greed. They come, they it can't be like say they don't see say eh, the thing where judge won't make the decision where judge won't make. It go auto, it go get the way it go be. So my people, I go like me gonna go watch video, my people. For my knowledge of uh, electoral law in Nigeria and for having read, I mean, the petitions and also being part of the proceedings, I would say that the, all the petitions against President Abola Metinubu election, they are hopeless and nobody needs to even, I mean, waste I mean, time in dismissing him. Mm. The five judges of uh, the Court of Appeal are sitting on will determine. Of course, but uh, I'm just, you, you ask day. me, if you don't ask me, I won't make any comment. Yes, it's, it's, the, it's the hopeless petitions. Mm. Can it be hopeless? Yeah, in interesting that you're a lawyer and uh, perhaps uh, you're speaking of your fellow lawyers in this manner. Well, thank you so much, Senator. Uh, that there should be someone to replace directly from the region where you have the national chairman that exited. And so that those who believe that the caucus of the party needed to agree before it brought, being brought to the neck. Should, people should be informed about what happened at the neck. Before our election, that's election of our chairman and myself as secretary, the first resolution that was adopted by NEC, and I told you NEC is the second highest decision maker of our body, was to uh, first pass resolution on the new zoning formula in our party. So a resolution was taken and was adopted by NEC to put the national chairman now in the northwest, the national secretary in the north. Uh, east and to take national legal advisor to the north central the national women leader to be retained in the south south and then the national welfare officer in the southeast that first came before our election so there's a process so if anybody is now talking about zoning to the north central of course they may they might be uh, ignorant or oblivious or what transpired at the next so what i'm saying is that what we have done is within the power of neck and article 13 clearly of our constitution empower NEC to act the way it has acted so we're not ratified were elected duly and properly in the presence of INEC, I mean officials that came to witness the process at uh, the Congress Hall of the uh, Transcorp Eating Hotel on the 3rd of August 2023. Why do some people in your party hold the view that Senator Basiru is a candidate of na an another emerging cabal in the villa who wanted a presence in the NWC? And that is the role that which you, they said you should go and play. Why do they owe that view, Senator? She, maybe that is a beer parlor talk. I and mean, I'm asking I've not, I've because not, I've not had that. Well, if, if I'm members not of your party are the ones not, not here, maybe, not, you know, you are not a member of our party. So I, that, I, maybe you mention names, the ward and the polling unit where those members you are making. So they may not even be a member of our party. So as far as I'm concerned, I've not had any of such comment until right in this studio. So that's why I said maybe it's beer parlor. What interest do you represent? And I who are those who, of the progressive development? Who put you forward? Because you cannot be a, a, a candidate that pushed yourself forward. Did you push who, yourself who forward? Who says I cannot put myself Did forward? Did you put yourself forward? Yes, Senator. I put myself forward, and I was elected unanimously by the neck. And to say that uh, who do I represent? I represent progressive developer party. 
go and check my record in the party. Even as at the time we were in the AC, ACN, before we moved to the APC, I've played critical role in supporting the party. I was part and part of election of, I mean, a political party in virtually all the states of the Federation. I've also handled assignments for a party at Imo East, I mean, uh, 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 primary election. I was the chairman. I was the secretary of the uh, primary election in Edo State. I've also done election management work for a party throughout the country, setting up situational room and helping to mobilize and governize the party. So aside my work in the public service and the work, of course, of our chairman, if you are talking of somebody eminently qualified to be chairman of the ruling party today, it is Dr. Abdullah Omar Ugandujie. Maybe, you don't, know, be, maybe could, you don't know his profile. Could it be the closeness of uh, your closeness to the president, Natural Duty of, of, of course, I'm close to the president, but that is not the reason. I'm telling you my profile. How I am a two-term commissioner, a senator of the Federal Republic, spokesperson of the Ninth Senate, and somebody who has a track record of working for the party. Similarly, Dr. Abdullah Omar Ugandujie, aside his closeness with the president, maybe you don't know his profile as a politician. He had been a chairman of three of the four, of the four local government in Abuja, I mean, FCT. He had been secretary of political party at the state level, chairman of the party at the state level, deputy governor for eight years, governor of a state, that means a leader of the party at the state for eight years. Who other person will you say is not qualified? I would just make allusion to what I mean, GF Kennedy said when he said he made his brother a secretary for justice in the United States. He said, go and get another uh, uh, American that is equally suitable for that position. Will he now become disabled because of his closeness or his filial relationship with GF Kennedy? Are we going to be disabled because of our closeness and of our being, I mean, disciples, and I use that word uh, advisedly of our leader, the president, Bola Metinubu, we are eminently qualified and we are opposed to recalibrate and reposition our party for greater heights. And you will do his bidding by the words. Of course, leadership. If you want to be a good follower, a good leader, you must also be a follower. But the constitution of the party is clear. The role of the neck is clear. The role of the convention is clear. The progressive governor forum also have their own role to play. National advisory council and caucus. So it's not a question of doing the bidding. The bidding, of course, that anybody will want to do is to reposition our party, to make our party stronger, and ensure that we win in all subsequent elections. All right. In your own view and understanding of party politics and government, between the leadership of the party and uh, an elected official of the, of, from the party, who do you think as, uh, um, uh, as in, in terms of hierarchy now, what comes first? Take, for example, the na uh, national chairman in the party and the president, a state chairman and the governor. Which of these divide as uh, more prominence? I wouldn't know whether you watched live the neck meeting on 3rd of August. After our leader, our national chairman, was sworn in and he came to join us on the high table, the president and the vice president did not sit until they gave directive that everybody, I mean, must sit. It shows uh, what I give answer to what you are saying. The party is what I mean, give birth to people who are in power. So it is like the hen laying, I mean, the eggs. So as far as uh, party politics is concerned, rudimentary government at all level, what is a political party? A political party is a group of people who believe in uh, some programs and activities and want to get power through his representative to be able to put in that place. So the political party play an eminent role in I mean, modern I mean, governance. In fact, the highest level of, political of, of any organization is political I mean, party. Because that is an organization that is formed for the role of taking power, uh, power and then be able to be in control of political economy and social development of a society. So your party is supreme? Definitely, That's what definitely. Over and above the individual, of, even if it's the president of the Of course, the you, you cannot even get nomination without the signature of the chairman and the secretary of the party. You must go through the rudiment of being elected through the democratic process for you to get the ticket to be president or to be governors. So the party definitely is supreme. Let me take you to um, what has been happening recently. Uh, and I don't know how your party is able to resolve that. Um, the non-confirmation status of uh, three ministerial nominees of the president. Uh, the withdrawal of uh, Michetti from uh, Kano State 
and um, Malam Nasir Erufan, his name that is not confirmed, that has generated it and he's not the only one. Telokotete and, and uh, Mahmoud in Nasara State, Telokotete in Delta State. That's left your party uh, members talking about that and it's got some controversy. How are you able to resolve this? For example, Malam Nasir Erufan is saying that he's not interested any longer. Has he told you that? That is the information that we have. I've, I've, I've not had a leader. I'm Mr. reporting Erufa. to you. I've not had that him. We have reported I've, it here I, I, from, from his camp. We have you, it you know, on look, good authority. See, he's the one. He's, saying he's that. the one that is nominated, and I've not had him saying that he's no longer interested in nomination. I've also not had that Mr. President has withdrawn that nomination. There's a difference between an inchoate process and the complete process. As regards Malam Nostri Rufai. My very good sister, Stella Okotete, and my very good brother, Dan Ladi from Taraba State. The state, the process is in Kuwait. It means that the, the National Assembly, the Senate, had not turned down that nomination. They have not said, we are not going to confirm you. They said they want to look at certain issues that have been raised in certain security reports. And of course, when our September 26, when the Senate resume, we'll be able to know whether they will go ahead with the confirmation or whether they will not confirm. So it is too early. For anybody to I mean, second guess what decisions the Senate will take as to confirmation of those nominees. And as to the I mean, withdrawal of nomination of equally my very good sister, Madam Shetty, is part or prerogative of I mean, Mr. President to decide whether I mean, the nomination should proceed forward or whether it should nominate forward. When do the question of appointment as minister is part of a political process. So if the political process, for instance, felt that maybe there are some other responsibilities that which is supposed to be given to her, then she may be considered worthy of that responsibility. So as far as I'm concerned, you see, in politics, uh, people make a lot of uh, permutations. They make a lot of uh, uh, conjecture, which in fact is not reality. So as of today, as a matter of law, the nomination of those three ministerial nominees had not I mean, been rejected by the Nigerian Senate. There's no vote on it, either to reject or to accept it. So it's an inchoate I mean, process. In the, in, the, in the instance, on the circumstance that Malanasu Arafa is no longer interested, what implication does that have for your party? I don't want to engage in hypothetical question. Uh, this is not a hypothesis. It's hypothesis, hypothesis. You know the reason? Let I me put the I'm question. A, I'm a legal Just a moment, let me put the question. And you do not have the information. And I'm putting the information to you tonight. I cannot then, so your information. I'm, 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 if, Senator, if you allow me to land your on my question, is your suspect, if you allow you. me to, to land on my question, I have as a journalist an information that Manan Lassura Rufai says is no longer interested in that nomination. And I'm asking you as a party leader, where does that leave your party? I say until I hear from the man in question, I don't believe what you have said. And I have the right to believe and not to believe what you have said. So as far as I'm concerned, the question of the purported, and I use the word purported adversely, withdraw or malanus is still uh, in the realms of, realms of speculation. And as a trained legal practitioner, I cannot act on outright speculation which is not granted in concrete evidence. What you are saying is in law, they call it ERC evidence, because it's not come directly from the person that is affected. It's not an admissible evidence in the law court. Uh, well, I, I guess, did you feel, when you, when you got to Abuja today, did you feel that it rained today? Senator? It's not because of feeling. I saw it raining. There's you a difference between feeling and seen something. So right. there's a difference. So, uh, so maybe we should so go it's to not a matter. It's not a matter of you believe it rained today in Abuja or not. You saw that it that's rained. That's it. That's it. Yes. So and I'm a journalist. I'm telling you the information that I have. But if you are disputing it, that's fine. Let's leave it and let go. let's move forward. So the question here is uh, the, the, the president had nominated 48 persons different from what former President Buhari did, 42. That's what President Buhari did. And uh, I mean, at the point in, in our nation that a lot of people thought that we need to have a slimmer government to cut cost of governance. What kind of light do you think this leaves your party or Nigerians would see your party as you have a bloated cabinet at the federal level? You see, she will... My people, now the video now on a new watch for you. So, on a see what you have for inside the video. All right, my people, I go like to end the video for you. Make you let me know 
waiting on a team for the comment section and if you never subscribe you can subscribe to my youtube channel so that you don't go miss any latest gist we are the upload and those of you will be seeing on never follow my facebook page they can follow so that you don't go see miss any latest gist we are the upload and about that you can come on our next time bye guys see you guys in my next video bye guys